What's good guys? So I just wanted to show you a really quick video on how to save your own drums into Logic. Now this is going to be using the drum kit designer. Unfortunately, Logic have decided to be quite difficult with this and they've not actually allowed a function that allows you to save it independently to the drum kit designer plugin like you can with the Ultra Beat or any other drum kit as well. But there is a simple way of getting around this as well. So I'm just going to show you how to do that now. What you do want to do first is just load up a, a patch of drum kit design yourself. I've got the 808 Flex one here. If you're not sure on how to get that, just go to Electric Drum Kit and load up 808 Flex. Okay, so this is just for demonstrative purposes only, obviously, but say for example, you've made your whole kit, you've got the sounds that you want, you've edited it and you're just thinking it's sounding dope and you want to be able to use this again in future. To do this, what you need to do is if you just X off this, Okay, make sure you select it onto your actual 808 Flex of a drum kit designer channel and then hit save. Hit save there. Okay, and then you come up with, an, with a box comes up here with save patch as. Just name it what you want. So I'll just name it, say for example, Trap Kit YouTube. Okay, whatever. And then you just click save. And then what this does is it automatically puts it into the user patches file here and then you've got it there. So now what will happen, say for example if I switch onto another kit that I've made here, so rest type kit. And go back to it. You can see that's already saved with the exact same settings that were there before as well. Okay, and that's just literally how you do it. You can't save it using a user channel strip here. You can't do that, it doesn't work for whatever reason, it doesn't save the actual details in the drum kit designer, but that's one way you can do it. Now, if for example, you have opened up in a new project and you've just changed it slightly and you feel like actually, this kit sounded a lot more dope than what it was before, but you don't wanna make a new kit, then that's fine as well. To do that, all you need to do is just go down to here to save, same place, and then give it the same name, Trap Kit YT, click save, and then it'll come up with the option, um, it already exists, you wish to replace it, select replace. And there you have it, and that's literally it. So you can just do that in future for when you've got your own kits. It's very good to do this because it does speed up your workflow as well, instead of making it from scratch all the time. So I hope this video has helped.